agricultural prices have ex- experienced a massive boost in the spot months in the front end of the curve, and that's been based on the drought that's going on in the U.S. I think it's the worst drought they're having or they're experiencing since 1986. So there's a huge concern there in the uh, agricultural uh, growing belt in, in America. It's pushed corn and soybean prices to historical highs. Um, the consensus view is that you know the, that weather pattern will subside and that prices will come back again and that's why we're seeing massive backwardation in the agricultural sector. Uh, backwardation is where obviously the forward prices are far, far lower than the spot prices. Yeah, I think on a long-term basis if we had to look at agriculture, I think there are very, very supportive fundamentals out there. If you look at what's going on in China, there's people are in, around the world, not just China, but people are experiencing a massive in, improvements in standard of living. Um, all of a sudden people are not eating grains anymore, they want more meat in their diet. Now, to create that meat, you obviously need more grain, and it's just it's a vicious circle, and I think it's going to put more and more um, stress on our sort of finite resources that we have available, and I think it will obviously be very, very supportive of agricultural prices going forward.